Hi everyone, welcome to this new little video featuring some watercolor news, or rather in this case showcasing some rather fun and new items that I've spotted online. The first new product that I want to talk about is from Legion Paper. You know they have the Stonehenge Aqua range of watercolor paper that is 100% cotton and it's a lovely, lovely paper. And they were also one of the first brands to feature some black paper for watercolor. They first released it as a cold press paper available in pads and sheets. And I recently saw that they made also a hot press paper. So that's what I wanted to showcase today. The fact that now there's a hot press watercolor black paper, which I think is really interesting if you want to really challenge yourself to work differently, or if you really like to work with an opaque medium like gouache. I've included some photos from the Legion website and also from Jackson's because I saw that they have it available there. I took a quick look at some of the Canadian stores that I know of and I didn't find any of the hot press yet, but I'm fairly confident that it's going to come in eventually. The next item that I saw that I had never heard of before is this new range of paper from Canson. They have this new range of paper that they call the Graduate Range. They don't exactly say it like that, but from the name, I think we can sort of assume that it's a range of paper for beginners or what is usually called a student paper range. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't exactly know what's up with it, but I thought it was interesting to see this new range of paper that covers not just watercolor paper, but all sorts of mediums and all sorts of types of paper. It also said that the pads are made in France and they are FSC certified which is interesting, so I'm looking forward to seeing those. If I spot the watercolor pad at some point and it's affordable, I might get one to try it out. I have one last little paper news for today, and that would refer to the fact that I saw that Bao Hong paper is now available on Jackson's too. It was formerly available mostly on AliExpress and possibly Amazon, so a bit tricky to acquire, but I've heard a lot of good stuff about this paper, and I know quite a few artists that will be happy to have a place where they can get this paper a bit more easily. And finally, I have two little mentions, and both are related to new Schminke products that I spotted on Jackson's. You know it. <laughs> um, I couldn't find anything referring to these sets on the main Schminke website, so I don't know what's up with that. But they have two new products. One is a cardboard set of 30 full pans. It's a really convenient way to get a lot of color and not pay extra for a tin. And the other set that I spotted is really quite impressive. It is a full set of 140 colors in 5ml tubes in a big wooden box. That's a lot of paint. I was looking a bit at the stuff on the Schminke website, and the box reminded me a lot of the boxes they use for pastels. That's it for the showcase for today. Let me know what you think of these in the comments below. I would love to read your comments. And thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.